So hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to Sumurak Luna. And on today's video, we will review this two magnificent action figure from Frank Miller's movie Sin City. All right. So if you're not aware um, what is Sin City, it's one of the best movies for me. All right. That I ever watch. And this is uh, the movie was released way back 2005. Okay, so it's an American neo noir crime anthology film uh, directed by Robert Rodriguez and Frank Miller, based on the Miller's comic book series. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So there you go. And what we have here is the Bloody Marv, a very rare variant of Marv from Sin City, which um, this was played by Mr. Mickey Rourke, if I pronounce it correctly. And we have Detective or Captain Hartigan, all right, from Sin City, which played by Mr. Bruce Willis. So one of the best, of the best and iconic, <clears throat> excuse me, iconic um, actors in Hollywood. All right, so let's start first with Hartigan. So this is, I already uh, removed it from the card, all right, but I receive it uh, mint in card so shout out to you Galact Toys thank you so much for this awesome item kudos to you so this is the the condition of Hartigan and I just remove it from the back itself to be safe okay so this is a series one Frank Miller Sin City from Dimension Film and Troublemaker Studio if you will see there by NECA Real Toys NECA okay so here are the action figures that you need to collect for Sin City. Marv, I forgot the name of this two, these three groups. And there we go. So what uh, inclusion it has. So on the clamshell, you have the action figure. No stand. Okay, you will see here this is uh, my own stand. And it has the revolver and the lead pipe. Okay, so for the height itself, for both action figure, I would say it is at around 7.5 inches for both without the stand already. All right, so shout out to you, Neka, for this awesome action figure. So, if you will see here, it is somehow monochromatic style based as well on the movie itself. Alright, if you haven't watched it check, it, check it out, especially for those first timer who will um, undergo collecting for a movie based um, action figure like Hartigan or like the Sin City action pack, okay? Now, this one, it has a good head sculpt, as you can see here. So, it's all basic articulation. No articulation on the head part, if you'll notice. The only articulation that it has is the hip swivel. Alright, see? So, you just need to be very gentle because this is, um, how do I call it? very old not uh, probably not that old uh, hold on we just make sure all right so Upon checking here, uh, 
Okay, yep. Um, a little bit old because it is manufactured um, 2005 already. So this item is more than a decade, 19 years to be exact. All right. So basic articulation, especially on the left and right arm. Mine uh, would not say to move. Okay. There, the articulation here. So you just need to be very gentle. No articulation on the leg part and even the foot part. So it's, it's more on the base. And if you, um, this jacket can be removable if you know how to remove it properly. All right, oh, and there's um, both left and right arm has a elbow swivel there. You can see oh, the lead pipe. Sorry about that. And the arms, oh, sorry, the forearm can be rotated as well. All right. It's like this one. Let's see, there. Can be rotated. Okay. For the elbow swivel, again, it can be rotated easily. So, those are the only points of articulation. So, it's more on the five point of articulation only for this um, action figure for Hartigan. Okay. Now, moving on with the Bloody Marv. So, there are um, two variants of um, Marv. Okay, the one is a monochromatic as well, and this one is the other version, very rare, that is uh, colored with, including with the blood, so that's why it's called Bloody Marv. So this is the another version of Marv. This is not yet the monochromatic, but this is from the Toy Beast, um, build a ab uh, build above Monkey Man, alright? So this is the other version of Marv. Okay, so it's a little bit bulkier than the NECA one, or this one, the Toy Beast is a little bit bu um, bulkier, okay? So you might want to check out the review for this um, Marv on my page, Facebook page, alright? So now for the Bloody Marv, so shout out to you Sir Aldrin Martin. So shout out to you Sir Aldrin Martin of AZJ Toys for the Bloody Marv action figure. So the another version of Marv. So on this one it includes the um, handcuff and the hacksaw. This is so basically this is back in the box already. Let me just put Marv here. So there you go, there's a hacksaw and the handcuff and the gun which is now with Bloody Marv or Marv, okay. And out, alternate hand or fist, closed fist. So it's still 10 out of 10 condition even it's back in the box or back in the card, alright. So look at the details for Marv. For the bloody marv he's all beat up the bandage the blood see here very awesome details with the cross so usually marv is the antagonist and then hartigan or bruce willis is the protagonist on the actual um sin city movie if you haven't watched it so basic articulation again guys there is a hip swivel for this one very tight for bloody marv and as well basic um, upward and downward articulation for the arms you can rotate as well the forearm all right as you can see here 
and goes with this one this one is very intact okay pretty awesome details on the blood as you can see crystal or luminous style color shading here this is Kevin actually guys the psychopath uh, psychopathic um, enemy on the movie no leg articulation but there is a below the knee swivel for both legs as you can see there I turn it left and right so this one is like <coughs> excuse me a walking version that Bloody Marv is walking with the head of Kevin and shooting somebody as you can see here is on the tilt post okay and overall both items for me is 10 out of 10 pretty awesome <coughs> excuse me pretty awesome action figure from Frank Miller Sin City so guys please do check out Miss Erica's page the Galap Toys at Facebook and as well Sir Ildren Ildren Martin's page at AZJ Toys at Facebook.com so both of them sells action figures so for Galap Toys it's more on Star Wars but the she has a different um, Marvel and DC as well then for Adrian Martin for AZJ toys he sells more on a movie and TV series action figure so you name it like Breaking Bad he has those kinds of action figure Scarface uh, Sin City and as well Spawn so the more on movie or horror figures um, items that the AZJ toys are offering so please do check out their page if you have some items that you want to grab you can PM them directly all right so there you have it guys um, this is Sumo Rock Luna again so thank you for watching please do like follow and subscribe my page at TikTok Facebook and YouTube Sumo Rock Luna and again guys thank you for watching happy collecting Bye-bye.